What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our journey through the DreamWorks universe. This is part three and in this video we're going to go over the future. In the last video we went through the industrial revolution all the way through the modern times with three different alien invasions, fairy tale creatures coming out of hiding as well as the rise of superheroes. And if you guys would like, please go back to my last video and check that out. But this is part three, the future. So to recap a little bit on where we left off, but realistically what is the more important part of the modern times that really carries this world over into the future and that is definitely the fact that in the bad guys you see animals basically just walking around as just full-fledged members of society there is no difference between animals and humans their fairy tale genes are active their intelligence is back and humans and animals are basically just one in the same with no real difference among them. What makes this so interesting is, is we don't actually know what happens between the bad guys. Modern times with all the different alien invasions and the babies versus animals and the animal uprisings and them getting their tents. We don't really know what happens to actually kill off the humans or even the superheroes in fact. But what we do know is, is that anything that resembles a human has gone extinct, essentially. And we can really see this in Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda 2, Kung Fu Panda 3, and Kung Fu Panda 4, where there are no more humans left in the world. But you have a bunch of very sentient animals basically acting like humans. And not only acting like humans, but they've also rediscovered through, in Poe's case, and from what we've seen in Kung Fu Panda, through the power of Kung Fu and Chi and going into the spirit realm, and all of these other things, they have actually managed to access human levels of magic. And not just fairy tale magic, so they are basically the culmination of human and fairy tale magic coming together in these what are essentially sentient animals that are just acting like humans. And that is a fundamental part of this, is we don't know what happened to the humans. It's Probably more than likely what has happened is, is the animals just kind of out-competed them. Once the animals sentience came out and their intelligence came out and they gained this ability to be full-fledged members of society they have technically had a way longer time to evolve and kind of mature and build up these things but also just in a way animals are better equipped to take over the planet if get being put on the same level of humans than humans are animals are stronger they are faster they have poisons they can fly they have super strength they can handle the magic of this world better than the humans can and that has been shown throughout history within the dreamworks universe so eventually the humans did go extinct and what we see here is is the animals have basically taken over the planet and now they've taken over the planet long enough for modern technology to essentially fall off and for them to have kind of like a reawakening or at least from what we see it's not really modern technology being used by the animals and maybe that's because they rejected it because that's what oppressed them for so long or maybe they've just forgotten how to use it just from the sheer amount of time that it's been since the humans have fallen off they still live in human-ish societies but it's definitely not modern societies so at some point the animals had taken over probably had a little bit of a regression as far as technology goes and then have basically like relearn technology all the way up to the point of what would be considered like I would say like castle times you know like iron ages like they have steel and cannons but they don't really have anything above that technology wise but that's really where we see the animals and where we honestly unfortunately have to leave them off within their story but what we now have seen is, is in this world all of these things have come together and that will eventually culminate in what I consider to be the farthest down the timeline of the DreamWorks universe which is actually the Croods and the Croods A New Age. Now here what we see are cavemen and now you might be asking okay well why did I put the cavemen at the end of the universe and not at the beginning of it? Well that's because the world that we see in the Croods is very obviously not the world we would see with normal cavemen. They don't have normal animals. All of their animals are weird hybridized animals. They have giraffes mixed with elephants, T-Rexes mixed with anacondas, chickens mixed with fish, like they've got deer mixed with fireflies. And so all of these weird combined, really weirdly mutated animals that have just like been fused together to create these animals of the crude's time, and so that doesn't necessarily scream the past for me. That screams a future. A future where something has happened to make all of the normal animals 
combined together. And what I think that was, to be honest with you, is the magic and the fairy tale genes, like we've been talking about prior to this. Something has happened within the animals and awakened these weird fairy tale genes where they've mixed up and mutated into these weird animal hybrids. But also what's happened throughout this is, is somewhere along the line, the regular animals went extinct or evolved and acted, had their fairy tale genes turn them into these new things that we're seeing in the crudes. But then what that basically did was, is it pretty much hit the reset button on the evolution. So what we're seeing in crudes and crudes new age is actually the re-evolution of humans back into the DreamWorks world. In the crudes, what we're seeing is a group of what you would consider to be Neanderthal level humans, and then a group of modern humans and them coming together. And scientifically, that is actually what has happened to us. A lot of us have Neanderthal genes within ourselves. A lot of us homo sapiens. We are actually the hybrids of homo sapiens and Neanderthals. So Neanderthals realistically didn't go extinct. And that's actually what we kind of see happening in the crudes and the crudes of new age with Guy and Eve coming together. He's a normal human. She's a cave person. And they're coming together to try and survive this weird, brave new world. And this is very obviously not the same world that we would have grown up in. The fruit is gigantic. The animals, like I said, are very different. And I think the animals being different can also be attributed to the fact that this world has been invaded by aliens on three separate occasions. And it's had monsters and fairy tale creatures in it throughout its entire history, nearly since God bestowed this power onto Moses way back in the Prince of Egypt. So if you take that and then years, millions of years of evolution all the way back in these, you would have these weird hybrid animals in this weird planet where it's a, like really rocky and then also really forested and these kinds of things. And you've now had the chance for cave people to re-evolve essentially all the way up to what I would consider to be a Neanderthal level. And then taking it a step further, have human beings also re-evolve, bring that all the way up to Homo sapiens. So that to me is the final step within this DreamWorks universe, where we've had the rise of mad, the rise of humans, the rise of magic, the rise of animals, the rise of fairy tale creatures, the rise of superheroes, battles between technology and science, magic, babies, dogs, cats humans, fairy tale creatures, monsters, aliens, and all of these battles have ultimately accumulated into the world, basically restarting itself with the re-evolution of humans in a world that has been so tainted that you get these weird animals all put together. And guys, I know this video wasn't quite as long as the last few, but there was a lot less to go over, and it, honestly, a quick video is probably the best way to end this. If you guys tune in next week, I'm going to upload just the full version of this parts one two and three all put together so you guys will have a chance to watch it start to finish but until that comes out if you guys can't wait or i would much appreciate it if you guys would go back watch part one watch part two to get yourself caught up and watch this in part three and let me know what did i miss guys would you guys like for me to go more in depth into some of these movies and just break some of these down break down some of the characters break down some of the points that i've made and try and give you guys a little bit more background and more story to see if those actually could make more sense or if i could flush it out just a little bit better you guys let me know in the comments down below and i will try and cover that in a late, later video while you guys are down there in those comments please remember to hit that like button hit the subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from me and until that next video guys i will see you in another video